everybody! Welcome to my office again. It's Kimberly here and as you know, I'm a psychotherapist. Welcome to my office. I'm so excited to see you all again. And today's topic is super fun, but it's also serious at the same time. And it's one that many of you have been asking about on my blog. So just to give you a hint about what today's segment is all about, it kind of looks like this. Yes, that's right. Today's topic is called, How Healthy Are Selfies? We all take selfies, at least most of us do. It's really fun to glam ourselves up, it's fun to be expressive, and it's also fun to share our experiences with other people. Now there's been a lot of talk over the rise of selfies in our generation, and some people, including many psychologists, will think that selfies are actually very dangerous. Some people think they promote narcissism, sometimes people are worried that there could be addictive behaviors that come out of taking selfies, and I think all around psychologists are worried about the type of self-esteem issues that selfies can perpetuate. Can you imagine seeing somebody beautiful all day long and wherever they go, whether it's to the gym or to the mall, they're always looking beautiful? Everybody knows that that's not actually true, but sometimes when we look at selfies, we actually believe that this is. So are there any weight to these claims? After all, most people would say that selfies are artistic. So you're able to put filters on them, you're able to show people your new hairstyle, you can show people how to do things or all the beautiful places that you've traveled to, and these are all some of the positive benefits of taking selfies. So as of now, there's no definitive research that shows that selfies are either extremely positive or extremely negative. Selfies are still a relatively new phenomenon and it's going to take some time to get some really, really strong research behind whether they're positive or negative. But a recent study did show that people who posted more selfies had a lot of issues when it came to connecting with other people. So other people had difficulty connecting with them and, and maybe even felt disconnected in some way from the people who posted the most selfies. So that might make you think twice before taking so many selfies that it clogs up people's news feeds and all they see are selfies of you. That might make pe some people feel very awkward and um, very alienated from you as a person. So what's my honest opinion as a psychotherapist? After all, I work with a lot of you here on my therapy couch. So my honest opinion is that selfies are perfectly fine. I honestly believe that everything has to be in moderation in life. Just the same way that we don't overindulge on junk food or we don't overexercise or we don't watch too much Bachelor on the television. Sometimes I can be a little bit guilty of that. But the truth is in life we have to be moderate at the things that we do. And so selfies, just like anything else, are okay in moderation. But there are some signs that your selfie addiction might have gone too far. So for example, if you find yourself picking apart aspects of your body or face that you don't like and that you therefore want to change, if you find yourself constantly trying to find the most amazing selfie and you get depressed or you start to feel low because you can't take a great enough picture, uh, if you start finding yourself obsessing over someone else's Instagram account because you think that they're so perfect and you want to try to emulate their beauty, or if you find yourself doing things that you would not normally do just so that you can get an amazing selfie, this represents a problem and it's time to be a little bit more self-reflective and think about if your selfie taking has gone a little bit too far. Because ideally, you don't want to miss any joy in the world. And if you're taking too many selfies, that could do that. It could, it could interrupt all of the wonderful things that you do in life. If you have a friend who you think is obsessed with taking selfies, I want you to share this video with them. And if you have an opinion on whether you think selfies are healthy or dangerous, I want you to leave it in the comments and share with everyone what your opinion is. Because right now, the verdict is still out. So there you have it. If you want to share your best and funniest selfies with me, don't forget to add me on Instagram, Twitter, and Google+. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more topics on beauty, self-esteem, and relationships, all from a psychotherapist's perspective. Thank you so much all for watching, and I'll see you next week with another fun and exciting topic.